Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of my Sims 101 tutorial series. Okay, I've, I've been playing around with the sound settings on the computer for the game. Um, I've turned up some stuff, so I have no idea how, how, how loud it is. Well, it seems to be a lot louder than when I tested it about oh, five minutes ago. So if it is extra loud today, I apologise. I'm still trying to work out what's like the optimal settings for my gameplay. So last week when we... Oh, this is Brussels this is busted. Okay, last week when we were playing, um, Liberty and Vincent, who's just gone off to work, they got married and they were pregnant and they had Clara. We also moved in another dog for Yogi, and that dog was Saber? Salem. I'm not with it today. That dog was Salem, and we were trying to get them to mate. Oh, he doesn't like the TV. Sorry, Salem. And basically, what you do, because we, we kind of got it done last week, but then I did, went, I did go and double check, but the dog or the animal that you're friends with, you get them to encourage them to mate with, and then they will in they will mate with that with that other animal, other dog. So Clara, we should be able to let me see. Um can we do that? Peck hair, no. Liberty, what's Liberty's Liberty might be able to do that with Yogi. No, I think it came under... Yeah. Do we not have a bin? Oh, she stepped in it. Oh, that is gross. I have never seen that. Oh, that was gross. I mean, it was funny, but that was gross. <laughs> oh dear. And if you didn't see, she went and stepped in the poop, in the pet poop, and then wiped her foot on the ground, and there was like a huge brown skid mark. That was gross. Anyway, back to planned episode. We are going to concentrate on Clara and her child years and teenage years. Oh, Liberty, you've gone off to work? She's gone to work. Okay, well, because Clara's a child, she should be able, she should be okay by herself, because usually she'd be in school by this point, but we aged her up at the end of the last episode. So I'm pretty sure... No, it does, it's not letting her go to school because she, she literally just aged up. In-game, that is. So as a child, you still have things that you need to do. So they have grade tasks, it's get one skill level to level two, and you have a daily task, which is your homework, and your homework is found in the inventory. Um, the, the children's homework, which is called grade school homework, is the yellow one, and then when they become a teen, they have a blue book that looks slightly different, and that's their homework. It used to be that the sim would bring it home from school, but now as soon as they age up, they have it. So we can get her doing homework. Why is she? Oh, she's tense because it's a thunderstorm. They're all tense because of the thunderstorms. Salem, what's your problem? He was just doing something. And now he's staring at the elephants, as you do. But when you tell a child or a teen sim to do their homework, they will find the, um, the nearest available um, surface and they will sit down and they will do their work and you will see the meter there will fill up as they're doing it and if there's an adult at home they can ask the adult or the parent to help them with their homework what's this shuttle cleaning while servicing the latest dirty shuttle liberty notices something strange there's a greenish moss growing on the underside of the wings if the shuttle really went to plant my Myot, myot key. Myot key. There'd be a lot of meteorite debris and no moss. Should Liberty ask her boss or not ask questions? 
Uh, Lark's the boss. Um, stop asking so many questions, says Liberty's boss. Where the shuttle went and who was on it and what stars they may or may not have blown up are of no con concern of Liberty's. Performance lost medium. Ah, okay. So you get all of these, um, all these things to do while you're, you get these little chance cards. And, I mean, they will say that there's no right and wrong, but you, you, if, if it's... You can get either performance loss or a performance gain. And this time we've got loss. So the next time it pops up, because they do pop up a lot, then we would know not to ask any questions. All right, Liberty, what are you? Not Liberty. Wrong. That's your mum. Clara, are you going to go have a nap because you are tired? So as I was saying, the child will sit down on the nearest available surface and do their homework. So once they've done it, you will see here, daily tasks, homework, complete. So let me see what else we can... Oh yes, we have the scouting, scouting badge board. Children and teens can join the scouts. I believe they do this through their phone. You can join an after school activity. So let's see what comes up. Um, no, don't skip work. Okay, so after school, Clara can do drama or scouting. But drama club is a good thing. It's a, it's a good way to see the get famous um, features. And I think we'll go with scouting. She wants to be a scout. So now the homework tab has gotten longer. And it will tell you when the meetings are. It's over the weekend. And it tells you what you need to do to advance. So you need to earn a scout and badge to become a Griffin Scout. And daily task is to check bags, badge process progress on scouting badge board. Not started. The scouting badge board you can get in the build by mode. And it's an interactive board. You click on it. And you can view badge progress that way, and then that will that will okay her daily task. But in the build by section, you can get lots of things for children to do. A lot of them focus on building skills. Okay. And it also, when you hover over, it shows you what you need to do. So good deeds, take out the trash. Entertain a toddler, make someone laugh, help someone with their homework. So you, you earn your badges through various things that you can do daily. So young scientists, seeing that Clara's a genius, let's go towards this. Perform scientific activities like computer programming using the microscope or telescope. Well, we can do programming. We have a laptop. Um... I also installed, there is a mod called MC Command Center, which helps you to configure various things within the Sims game. It's, I w in the next episode, I will go into, I will talk about mods and how to install them if you want to install them. I mean, I have to admit, The Sims 4 is the first Sims game I've been able to play unmodded and have fun with it. Usually with the other Sims franchises, I've always wanted to add things to it to either make the game more playable for me or more enjoyable. And this is the longest time I have played a Sims, a Sims game and it's not modded, which to me is, you know, it's pretty cool. But some, you know, there's some things that you wish the Sims could do and, the, and mods take... They tend to fill that need. But like I said, I will, I will go over that in a bit more depth in the next episode so yes we want clara who's oh vincent's just come home we want clara to start programming hmm. if we practice typing will that count as programming because programming probably covers teens because teens can pretty much live by themselves Uh, 
okay that's not anything are you learning you're learning something let's see what you're learning if we click on the skills oh she's learning motor skills but there's lots of things for for teens sorry for children to do and to bring their skills up they don't have the same skills as an adult but I'm not sure if it counts towards an adult skill so for example with creativity I don't know if it will go over to you know a painting skill I've never really looked that closely to be honest are you still learning let's get you trying the violin as well practice and then we'll put you to bed because we need you nice and fresh for school in the morning she can claim the bed so then it's that should stop people from sleeping in her bed the monster under the bed thing i don't know if you noticed that when we clicked on the bed it is something that was introduced uh way back and kids will not sleep because of the monster under the bed you'll just see tentacles come out oh yogi is pregnant um let's slow that down yogi's had a puppy oh there you go um boo boo we'll call him boo boo because yogi bear in the comics his little companion was boo boo oh 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 boo boo is so sweet i've just seen him he is oh we need to pause he is absolutely tiny if we put it on tab it will put it on free camera and we can scroll we can move in zoom in while we'll use it by using the mouse button and that would zoom in i need to look at his face let's tab back out turn around he looks a little bit possessed though tab and let's scroll in Oh, look at those eyes. Oh, he's so sweet. wonder who he's like, his mum or his dad? I can't tell. But yeah, from a distance, he looks a little bit possessed. But when you get a little bit closer... Actually, I need to take a picture of that. To take a picture, you get to your desired position and then press C. And because we are in the free camera mode it's not going to pop up but it does give you um there you go top right hand corner your pictures can be viewed in the screenshot manager which is found within the camera options in live mode so now we have a little puppy we've got boo boo to look after so i don't know if boo boo was from the first day that yogi and salem got together because if you remember we got Salem because Yogi was feeling she needs some kind of love and we got a male a male dog for her and almost immediately they they mated. So I don't know if it's from them from then, sorry, or if it was from another time. Because I believe we did try a second time. Alright. Uh Clara, you are you eating breakfast? But when you're finished eating breakfast, you can play with Yogi. And then you can have your first day at school. Oh, Clara just became friends with Boo Boo. You can also Simstagram your pet. But Clara's, on, she, Clara's not a teenager yet, so she can't do that. She's not allowed to be on social media. But Liberty is clumsy and she keeps dropping plates. There's certain things that Sims will do at work or at school autonomously. So I believe using the bathroom is one. Yeah, because now her bladder's come back up. Um, hunger is another one. Social and fun will go up or down accordingly. But energy and hygiene will always, they will always fall. So if they go to school stinky, then they will stay stinky. But if they go to school with a full bladder, they will empty at school. Or if they go hungry, they will get a meal at school. Which is like real life. If Clara had still been a toddler or a baby, then they would have gone to the, they would have been taken out of the house and you would get the little pop up saying that they've gone to daycare, which is free. Okay, and Clara Clara's come home from school. 
she has I oh know wrong person she's come home from school she has a C grade which is fine and again it's gone back to daily tasks so she has to do her homework again and then the Llama Scouts they will meet tomorrow because today is Friday they'll meet tomorrow on Saturday so kids can sit here at the activity table and they can do things that will bring up their it builds their creativity skill okay so Clara went off to her scout meeting I missed the beginning because I had Vincent playing with Boo Boo and Boo Boo was like four four houses away but this is what their scout looks uh, scout uniform looks like it's pretty much a you know like any other scout or scouts or guides girl guides um adventure scouts whatever kind of organization that you have where you live it's that kind of generic uniform and when she went they're given things to do you see where it is and then she can check the board that she has in her room for progress and it's pretty much rinse and repeat once she's done enough to collect a badge she can collect a badge but for child sims it's pretty much you get them to do things they, they get to do their homework and you get them on building skills so that they become a better person when they grow up okay so now we see that she's got some progress civic responsibility to perform cleaning or repair actions so she's been cleaning good deeds she's done a couple of good deeds sociability this she can you know all these things like i said they can do at home but it, at the moment it's as a child it's pretty much rinse and repeat so what we are going to do we're going to age up liberty and let's get her as a teen liberty sorry clara i keep calling her liberty it's not a good thing And of course, Liberty set the house on fire. Because we have the alarm. Then that means everybody can get out. Liberty, go on. Route to safety. Extinguish. Extinguish the fire, otherwise you're going to burn the house down. That's why we need firefighters in the pack. And then you receive a little bit of money for that. Because I mean, it costs a thousand simoleons to replace, and you only got four ninety-five. So now it's time to age up Clara. Let's go around this side this time. This time she can age herself up. So you click on the cake, and you choose you choose age up any of the age up options, and you get to pick an aspiration now for your sim as she's now a teenager. So let's go for knowledge because she was a whiz kid and computer whiz, which is fine. So she already has the genius trait. She gets quick learner from the whiz kid at the computer whiz aspiration. And we also get to pick another trait. Actually, let's make her vegetarian. I haven't had any vegetarian sims. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Vincent. And your sim will age up into, you know, instead of as any any other time, instead of clothes, they will. I still haven't worked out who she looks like. She's very skinny though. You need a bit more food, love. And the grade school homework she no she no no longer has any interactions with it 
if we look in her inventory, she should have the blue book for high school homework. Uh, why does she have that? Why does she have the scouting board? Oh, she probably got one from going to the scouts. It's been so long since I played it, I didn't even realise that you did get one through going to the scouts. So we could sell that. Because we totally have one in the room. And this is... Why do you have... Why do you have a bowl of pet food? That's a bit random. That's very random. But as I, as I said, teenagers, they can, if she wanted to, she could move out and live by herself. I'm not sure when they added that. It's just something that I found out one day as I was playing with my Sims. And also we're going to have to change her bed because she can no longer sleep in this bed comfortably. Um, this... Okay, can teens still use that? I thought they couldn't. Well, she's tense. So she can take a shower. Oh, her mother's busy cleaning. Okay, let's change her bed. The bath. If we look at the the badge board, and the um, progress has still been kept from when she was a child. She can't practice anymore because it's for a child. And let's see, resume known, she's far too tense so I will take that to mean that she can still use that as a teenager. Because as you can see with the violin there are some things where they can't, as a, as a teenager, they can't use it. Go have, take a shower. Why are you napping on your parents' bed? Oh, look at Yogi. Does that mean that you're hungry? Yes, yeah, she is. Oh my God, that is so funny. Vincent, feed your dog, love, feed your dog. So now that Clara is a teenager, it's pretty much rinse and repeat. That She will do a lot of the same things that she does as a, as a child. She'll continue to um, do things to fill her aspiration, to... Oh, she's the same as her mother. I know, her mother wants to be a nerd brain, she wants to be a whiz kid, a computer whiz. But she will continue to do things towards her aspiration. She'll um, build her skills, make friends, go to school. The difference between teens and children is that teens can also take a career so she might leave the lava scouts and she can take a part-time job which is usually on the weekends which is handy but they don't have to and um so that's that's basically it and so in the next episode what i am going to do is to talk about mods and cc custom content and um i explain what they are how you install them if you want to install them and the different kinds of different kinds and types of mods that and cc that you can find and the different kinds of mods and cc and where to find them boo boo's about to age up Boo-Boo's aged up into a proper dog. And Boo-Boo's a big boy like his dad. So on that note, we are going to leave our family and come back well we're not going to come back to them next week but well, we might do i'll see thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel i'll see you in the next episode Bye bye